Remember Rugrats, the show on Nickelodeon? What you probably don't know <laughs> is that the creator of the show, uh, Ga Gabber Supo, Gaber Supo, originally planned a late night version of Rugrats called Rug Rascals. <laughs> uh huh. And to be played at night with more adult humor. Because every major channel thought the plot was too disturbing, they refused to air the show, and as a result, no one has really heard about it. However, one station in Wellington, New Zealand mistakenly played it in the morning, <laughs> thinking it was a regular Rugrats episode. The pilot and only episode of the show that was seen was called Chucky's Mom. The intro played like normal, but at the end when Tommy shoots the milk at the screen, <laughs> <laughs> the sound effect is much louder, and the milk simply stays there for about 10 seconds. What the fuck? <laughs> then, then the name of the episode appears. The episode played out like normal, with the babies playing in the playpen. They're all talking about their moms when Chucky has a flashback. It had Chucky in a hospital, standing next to his mother in bed, who was dying from an unknown illness. She was singing, You are my sunshine, my only sunshine, to Chucky in a very weak voice, as if she was about to die. But when she sang the second verse, the song started playing in reverse. A shot of Chucky appeared in front of a live-action footage of a chicken's head being chopped off said to represent death by fans. Huh? Like, including interpretations of what's happening? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, Chucky turns around and screams, and when he looks back at his mother, her face has a live-action man's mouth pasted on it, saying, <laughs> Don't worry, Chucky. It's time for me to move on in a man's voice. A flurry of random live-action clips were shown, said to represent death. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's said to represent death. I keep saying that. Like a cow walking into a box with Slaughterhouse crudely drawn on the side. Footage of the LA riot, other cartoons, and actual footage of a man suffering from AIDS being killed. What? How would you know? Just looking at him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he have a test? Like, <laughs> Did he drink a soda from McDonald's? <laughs> you can hear Chucky screaming the entire time. A shot of Chucky's mom appears again, this time with a chicken's beak crudely pasted onto her face, saying, Don't you remember where it all started? The episode then cuts to live-action footage of childbirth son sonograms. After About after one minute of these sonograms, you hear Chucky's mom say, Aren't you a lucky ducky, Chucky? <laughs> a harlequin fetus appears. What? It's um, <laughs> like it's a rare disease that when a kid gets it, their skin is covered in like weird scales and it's they die oh. like almost instantly after birth. Oh, I see. At this time, you see Chucky come out of the flashback having a seizure Tommy, Phil, and Lola cr are crying and an ambulance worker calms him down saying Chucky, Chucky, can you hear me? in a stern voice <coughs> eventually after coughing up blood and vomiting <laughs> wow. it sounds like a great show by the way <laughs> <laughs> Chucky comes to his senses we then see a point of view shot of Chucky seeing Tommy, Phil, and Lil, and the ambulance worker as having live action chicken beaks on their faces, clucking away. A photo of a kid that looks just like Chucky's, looks like just like Chucky, screaming appears, and the camera zooms into it. After this, the credits, the regular credits pr played, followed by 15 minutes of static as the station had nothing else to play. Really? Surprisingly, <laughs> after, although the episode was watched 
by many children. Only one adult who was watching me, parentheses me, has spoken about it <laughs> until now. Oh, that's surprising. I was unsurprised to find out that children suicide went higher in New Zealand. <laughs> That's the last sentence. I was unsurprised to find out that children's suicide went higher in New Zealand. Wow. The end. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was amazing. I was so scared the whole time, bro. Holy shit. It was really scary, because they said that everything was said to represent death <laughs> yeah. by fans. I was like, oh wow, that is Damn, that's like scary but also profound. Yeah, it represents death, you know. Yeah, that is profound. <laughs> that was dark <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, good pick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Not bad. Is that still on the the lol poster or whatever that wiki the original one was on? Yes. Um. It's under the category, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> uh, stories that are just incredibly bizarre, even for a troll pasta, so. Just where all the bizarre stories go. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Caillou, Rosie Becomes God. I was an intern at Sinar <laughs> Sinar Animation. Sinar Animation, whatever you call it. Back from 1996 to 2004. I also got to work on shows like Arthur, Caillou, and more. Back in 2004, I was laid off when Sinar became Cookie Jar, but I tripped on a VHS. It said <laughs> Caillou's original pilot. I thought, okay, and I watched it. It started off with what appeared to be a very early version of the Caillou logo in a different house. I thought, okay, dot dot dot. It started off with Caillou introducing us to his family, nothing much. Then it faded into the early house at night. It cut to Rosie's room as she woke up. She went downstairs. Rosie can't sleep. I need something. But she noticed the basement door. She opened it up and found a strange glowing blue orb. She touched it and it flashed into a shot of the house the next day. Boris and Doris came in and said, Hey kids, we got you some stuff. Caillou came and found out he got something cool. Rosie got her, got her, and found out she had, she got a Nickelodeon Fit Wii game. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This was 1997, and this game didn't come out until 2011. She threw the game across the room and said in a male voice, <laughs> No, no, I don't want that. Did Caillou predict the Hungry Pumpkin game? Uh, four question marks and three exclamation points. Rosie got a big head and screamed. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy metal played and she trashed the house. <laughs> Sorry, this sounds like a go anime video. <laughs> it does. It does. I mean, that's not, that's not too surprising, I guess. You know. She then made a blue fireball and exploded the house exclamation point. We cut to a shot of the house on fire with Rosie as a giant as a giant. The following words she said will haunt me for as long as I live. Merry Christmas, fuckers. She then threw a fireball at the family and they all turned into sands with hyper-realistic blood everywhere. <laughs> they killed everyone in town. It then cut to a shot of Rosie and the Sands family. Rosie said, Listen up, all of you. Rosie is about to mess with you and make everyone my slaves. Rosie will hunt down and kill you all. Then Rosie will make all of you face the kiss of my vagina. 
you all must burn in hell. And for a split second, I saw the Thanos Patrick. <laughs> you see, you see on the sides. Then Rosie came to life and fucking killed me. If you are wondering how I am writing this, I am Rosie. I will hunt down and kill you all. Suck my tits. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was something, all right. <laughs> Suck my tits. That's how it ended. Ha <laughs> ha